USA, USA. <laughs> Sarah did not approve that no. intro. <laughs> How's it going, everyone? Well, it's official. The send-off game has happened. USA won. Woo. They are technically have already left for Australia. They left on the plane tonight. Like That's wild. From the game to the airport. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. So, that's crazy. They're ready. They're ready. Um, so it was an exciting day, the last game before the World Cup. And USA won. This is not going to be a long video. We're going to talk about three different things pretty quickly kind of rapid fire style even though uh, I mean the game was exciting we I think everyone had been looking forward to this game for a long time because all the pieces are here you know what well, kind of we'll kind of get into that but all the pieces the team is selected one and... piece stood out today yeah I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> very true <laughs> that's it War World Cup starts and I believe in 10 days what's today the 9th 10th yeah in 10 yeah. days and it was great to have a win before uh, before they went to Australia because, yes. you know, that can put you in a different headspace if you don't have that win. Exactly. But going into the game, I mean, Wales versus the United States, I did not realize this. The Wales had never played outside of Europe. I had never, I did not realize that. Yeah, that's wild. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't even know what to say. It, it's something I, I, the commentators were talking about how excited they were and how, you know, today is the first time, but it's not going to be the last time to play outside of Europe. Yeah. The other thing that kind of stood out, pretty much their top three players, including Jess Fishlock. Uh, she played OL Reign two nights ago. I believe she played two nights ago, uh, got a knock there. And so she was not healthy for today's game, which is unfortunate. Mm, yeah. I'm sure she really wanted to play this game. Yeah, she was biting her nails on the bench the whole yeah. time. <laughs> Did you guys see that? That's so funny. They Every shot of the, the, her for the for like first. Yeah, she had less and less nail. <laughs> but I understand that. I'm a big nail biter. So yeah. Just, I don't even know if you saw this. Uh, her and Pino did a um, jersey swap at the end. Oh, no. I you didn't see it. I'll show you that. But um, so those were kind of the notable things. You know, United States, they wanted to go out there to win. The Wales, you know, they don't have a lot to lose. They can go out there and play. You know, nothing to lose, kind of. You know what I mean? Right, it's yeah. all a win for them. Mm -hmm. Obviously, the starting lineup that kind of sets the tone. And, you know, Alex Morgan was starting. Yep. Um, Sophia Smith was starting. Alyssa yeah. Thompson. And Alyssa Thompson. I was surprised to see a lot of uh, Alyssa Thompson starting. I don't know why I was surprised. It seemed uh, like the commentators were talking about her for like an hour. <laughs> yeah, I know. I mean, they're obsessed. I love it. I mean, she's she's amazing. So She's amazing. And a lot of people still talk about her 90-minute fitness not being there, that she really needs to be able to control her fitness for the whole 90 minutes. Right, yeah. As a young player, you get excited and then you, you kind of... She started and it was great to see her. You know, a lot of people were talking about kind of they looked a little timid out there in the first half. Mm -hmm. And I mean, the, the thing that the commentators kept going over and also just as a spec spectator watching this, what they wanted to make sure they did is no one get injured. That was their number one goal. No one will get injured during this game. Yeah. Because that's a fear. I, I think one of the German players who just played in their last uh, match got tore their ACL. I'm not exactly sure, but I think I read that. <laughs> Um, so that is their number one goal for this match, was not to to be injured. The commentators even talked about it, and, and we saw Lindsay Horan going to the official saying, "Hey, it got a bit physical out there, and there wasn't enough. There wasn't any yellow cards given out um, when there probably should have been at some yeah, point." Yeah, Lindsay got beat up like yeah multiple times. But yeah, I mean, the first half they were a bit timid, but they had most of the possession. The reason maybe they were playing so timid timidly was because they wanted to avoid injury yeah exactly guessing, even though it was like rugby out there exactly <laughs> i know the time, but, that's what know. they kept saying and went into the half zero zero and during the half you know the commentators were saying they could be better they need to be better they basically need to be better that well that was kind of the halftime commentary but also did this happen in the first half i think it did um Alyssa thompson got I don't know if she twisted her ankle kind of weird. Oh, yeah. That was very scary. So talking about making sure they got out of there uninjured, that was very scary. She was nursing it for another good five minutes. Um, very timid on it. And it even looked like at the very end of the game when they did that celebration, she came out kind of limping a little bit. Ooh, yeah, um, that's not good. So I think she's okay. I mean, yeah, that was very scary to see that. So first half, you know, was okay. Um, it, it did get a bit of physical. Nothing exciting though you know what i mean nothing to say this is the world cup champions <laughs> nothing to say these are the going to be the world cup champions too you know yeah. what i mean um but i mean but second half uh they make a couple changes 
Trinity Rodman comes in. Does she freaking come in? I think Trinity Woo. came in right at the half for Alex Morgan. Yeah, I think so. uh, and Alex had a pretty quiet game, but apparently she had some like muscle strain or something. From get go, I think it kind of they probably had a good locker room talk, and the quality kind of changed a bit. And it, it was kind of like that they meant business. Day and night. Um, they were ready to score, and we'll go right to the the seventy fourth minute, and there was a play, and it looked like she got bodied a little bit. Even the commentator said it should have been a yellow card. That was the 74th minute. That led to the 75th minute. With the very next play, Trinity Robin in the 75th minute scored the first goal. Oh, and was it a beautiful goal. Beautiful. It, it was Sophia Smith. And then she takes a beautiful look, just a, just a glance, the tiniest little glance, and she sees Trinity Rodman wide open. She, she, she kicks it over, just gets a little kick. And then Trinity Rodman... Puts it in the back of the net. Taps it. Beautiful. Beautiful. That setup was great. Yeah. It was um, spiritual. It was great. And, you know, those are the kind of plays they work on in, in practice. You know, this is exactly what they work on in practice. And it connected. And it looked great. Excited. 1-0 in the 75th minute. Then again in the 87th minute. Again, Trinity Robin. 87th minute. Another banger. Beautiful. Another one. That was a great sequence that led into that goal, too. It was a wild sequence. Yeah. A lot of people had their hands on the ball. A uh, lot, Actually, their feet. <laughs> <laughs> feet on the ball. Um, and they didn't give up. And the way the ball kind of slid right. But, I mean, it was like a curl. I mean, it was beautiful. Yeah. It was poetry. She was pretty much telling Vladko. She is making her case for possibly being a starter. But. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> but I keep reading somebody like Trinity Rodman was so much uh, to come in in the second half gives so much electricity to yeah, the game that's that very true those fresh legs mean so much in the second half yeah, so I don't think she powerful. will start because but possibly she will you never know then that was in the 78 87th minute um but I mean I think we saw a lot of good things out there you know Savannah DeMello's first cap ever I think she looked pretty good. You know, the commentators uh, I watched at the end and some critiques or commentary, and they said what they saw from Savannah DeMello was really nice, was really good, was had a very solid minutes, and they, they liked what they saw from her. Um, you know, we didn't see Roosevelt. We didn't see Megan Rapinoe. We didn't see Julie Ertz. And I think a lot of people, I think a lot of people have critiques about specifically Rose and Megan being kind of a question mark about their health. Uh, yeah. And I think they, Vladko did an interview and said, you know, they're healthy, they're game ready. But it's almost like Rose not playing since April. It's hard not to be able to see her. But you know, based on what Rose can, what Rose Lavelle can do and how she has proven herself, uh, you know, it's hard not to see her, but yeah, I mean, we know she's a force to be reckoned with. Yeah. Yeah. And Megan Rapino too. Um, you didn't see her. I guess we will be seeing her at the World Cup. There might be question marks, but is there real question marks? Who knows? No, these are fake question marks. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, to know, so happy to see that. So happy to see that they came out with the win 2-0 some of the the play was a little rough out there so no one got hurt that's the most exciting part i mean and you know i i, I guess i was gonna leave this for the end of the video but i guess i'll talk about it now it's just like going into the world cup this has never been a closer world cup in the history of the women's world cup it's yeah it's so many people's to win slash lose anyone can win because talent is so great everywhere you know what i mean but that's but that's what i think makes it so exciting yeah 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 and, I don't know. It's going to be wild, whoever wins it. But. And the best player on and the best team on that day is going to win, which obviously is an obvious thing to say. But I think for so long, it's kind of like a team had to play their absolute best to to win, to play. And the United States had to play almost bad for teams to beat U.S. But now it's just like you go in there, USA plays well. A team's just going to play better than the U.S. They don't even have to play bad. They're just not going to play as well. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Any team could win. There's like five or six teams on a given day that could win. There's even like some of the outskirt teams that could easily come in and win too, which I think is a good thing. Yeah. But going on from that, I mean, I guess we'll talk about this now, but we're going to do another video about it. But yesterday it was announced that officially Megan Rapido is retiring. End of an era. Yeah, we're going to talk about this more in another video, but she made an announcement saying that she is officially retiring after... Um, the World Cup slash after the NWSL season. He posted this, and then we're going to talk about it. 
It is with a deep sense of peace and gratitude that I have decided that this will be my final season playing this beautiful game. I never could have imagined the ways in which soccer would have shaped and changed my life forever, but by the look of this little girl's face, I think she knew all along. And it's a little picture of her as a kid. Yeah, it was such a cute picture, but it's official. Like I said, we probably will talk about this more, um, but Megan Rapinoe changed the game in so many ways uh, on and off the field, mostly off the field. Uh, and I think a lot of people are bummed. A lot of people, I think, saw it coming. But, I mean, this yeah. this is just the era of people now retiring. We had first had Carly, then Ash and Allie have retired. This is going to be Allie's last season. And now Pino. And it's kind of like, this is like, this is the time it's happening when we keep talking about the era of the the players in the last 10 years who really were the team for so long it's when you know you're getting old <laughs> yeah i know i know i know and you know i don't think it came out as, as a surprise but uh she's retiring and also i was seeing this maybe she her and sue can actually get married now <laughs> oh yeah because <laughs> they're both retired and have a baby or something yeah exactly exactly so we'll talk about that obviously megan Pino is probably my favorite player i would say I thought I was your favorite player. No, no, Make, Megan Rapino oh, from Reading, California. No. <laughs> um, so you know we're bummed, but we are gonna maybe do another video about it, and we're gonna talk more about it as it comes up too. But that's official; she is retiring, and I also think it's good she announced it before the World Cup because it really, she can really enjoy it, embrace it, um, you know, get the cheers of everyone and knows she's retiring. Her teammates can help. Her win it. Yes. Her last World Cup. I was thinking so, that as well. Hashtag do it for Pino. Yes. Trend that. I was thinking that exactly as well. As well, they want to win for Pino now, you know. Yes. Um, but uh, so she's officially retiring. Also, I did want to mention this here. You know, we talk about United States wanting to win this game. They won. And there's been international games happening. And um, one of those international games that just happened then was uh, f you know, front runners, however you want to say, front runners, uh, Germany were just defeated by Zambia. So Ooh, it, yeah, rough. it was a wild game. Zambia was up uh, two nil in the 90th minute, and then Germany scored two points in that last 10 minutes. Then Zambia, at the very last run, scored the third and winning goal. Oh, that sounds like a wild game. It was a wild game. It, interesting you know I, I saw zambia actually tied i think canada and then the republic of ireland beat zambia and i'm like is zambia a team to look out for i looked at their group they could get out of their group out of uh the the world cup so should be an exciting exciting world cup you know yeah i still think germany are the front one of the front runners if you remember the video we did last week was that fifa 23 predicted the USA will beat Germany two, four to two at okay. the World Cup for the final. So that that's what their uh, prediction was. Although a lot of people <laughs> thought that was a bit uh, un unrealistic. <laughs> um, somebody goes, haha, I disagree with EA Sports. Sorry, don't underestimate the underdogs. Um, so someone said they definitely disagreed with what EA Sports said. And another person says USA will never beat Germany four to two, which I can see why somebody would think that because it seems it even seems wild to me, to be honest. Yeah. And obviously this is just a prediction of some type of algorithm they decided. But I want to see the breakdown of the algorithm. Yeah. Because like, what? And then someone says, sorry, girls, I love the USA, but I love Team England. And then someone says USA will never beat Germany. Take it to the bank. Finalists will be Germany and Spain. Uh, and then someone said, uh, I don't know if it was an R convert. Uh, oh, someone says here, Australia. The current Australia squad is practically unbeatable at home. Australia will lift the trophy. So, mm. And I kind of agree with that, too. I think it's going to be pretty tough to beat Australia. So I think that person is correct. But a lot of people are saying, you know, is USA going to win? Maybe, maybe not. And but then again, predictions, it might come true because of the prediction. Like, it might make Mark that much harder, or isn't that, like, yeah. self-fulfilling self prophecy right. or something so, like that? Right, right. So everyone sees that prediction that it's 100 people predicting it's 100% 100 100 accurate. So everyone makes it happen somehow. Yeah. Yeah, it could happen. I but I think a lot of people are saying, you know, for based on USA on paper and what they've seen, oh, they could win. They could, a good chance they won't. But... Sure. I think, you know, you want to be hopeful. But what does everyone think? What did everyone think about the game against uh, Wales? What did you like? You know, 
are, are you an American who doesn't feel good or it feels like, you know, they don't like what they see? Or are you someone who says, you know, seeing Trinity score two goals and are you, are you someone who says the team we're taking to the World Cup is, is totally beatable? I mean, what side are you on? Um, you know, Sarah and I want us America to win, but we're realistic, too. We know they could be beaten at any time. So but we just we know we're just rooting for them. Does everyone think questions, comments down below? We'll talk to everyone soon. Have a great night. Bye. Bye.